Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Lost Warthog run of Halo 2 again, and checking out to see exactly where it's located on the map High Charity. So, just as a quick refresher, Halo 2 was originally supposed to have a Warthog run at some point in the game, however, it was cut from the final game at some point during development. However, that Warthog run, even though it's covered in the game, still exists in the game files on the mission High Charity, and you can actually spawn it in and spawn in it and explore it. In fact, a modder uh, named Black Diamond actually restored it on Halo 2 Vista, and he added a lot of cool things to it and actually turned out and worked pretty well. And when Halo 2 Anniversary on MCC came to PC, I was also able to determine that the Warthog run still exists and even works in Anniversary graphics, as you can see here. And it actually looks uh, pretty well. A lot of it actually loads in in anniversary graphics. But that's just showing that it still exists. Now we're going to see exactly where it's located on the mission High Charity. So starting from the beginning of the mission, we uh, we enabled the, the uh, Acrophobia skull for Halo 2, which if you didn't know, you actually can do, even though it's only for Halo 3 officially. You can enable it for Halo 1, 2, 3, and ODST. But using the Acrophobia skull, we're just going to fly all the way out here towards where the Warthog run uh, is actually located. So it is really far to the map. As you can see, we already flew by the uh, the actual playable area of the map, the whole building where you know the the mission takes place. And you know I'm still flying right now, and we're we're still flying pretty far out. But the Warthog Run is actually located out here in this direction, in this area, and you can uh, you'll be able to see it very soon. But it only shows up in anniversary graphics. And here we are. We're at the point where you could actually now see it, where it's actually uh, loaded in. And yeah, uh, however, we cannot get to it because there is a barrier preventing us from getting closer. In fact, uh, in just a second, you'll see that right here, this is as close as we can get to the Warthog run in anniversary graphics. So yeah, this is basically it. So the reason why we can't go any further, like I said, is there's a barrier. And past that barrier is the... Um, is where the Warthog run should be, but it's not loaded because the whole section just doesn't exist yet. That's why we can't get to it. And we can't we can't load it in just by flying to it. But you may be wondering how can we could see it in anniversary graphics? Well that's actually the really cool thing about how anniversary graphics work in Halo 2. And Halo 1 by extension. So in both Halo 1 and Halo 2 anniversary, everything in anniversary graphics is loaded in, like from the start. You know, the entire map, everything, like all the scenery and everything, even if the map itself is not actually loaded in in classic graphics, it's already loaded in in anniversary graphics. It's, uh, I guess you could say it's preloaded. I don't know if that's the proper term, but it is, it is there. And, you know, you can, you can see that in, like, when you go out the map in Halo 1 and 2. If you, uh, if you don't load in, like, the next section of the map, but you, like, zoom in or something, you can see, like, you know, it's a, it, there's nothing there in classic graphics. It's invisible. But like the, if you switch to anniversary, the entire map, the entire section, and everything is still loaded in. So that's why you could see it in uh, anniversary graphics on this mission. But yeah, as you can see, it is really far away. I mean, it's not like extremely far away, but it is pretty far from the actual playable part of the map. And I'm not 100% positive, but in normal like MCC gameplay on this mission, I don't think there's any like any position or any angle that you could stand at to be able to see the uh, the Warthog run. You know, like on Xbox or PC without without modding the Acrophobia Skull to fly here. Or any method you want to use to fly out here. But it, it might be possible. You just uh, you have to be at the right angle to see it. But as you can see, uh, like here is like the end part of the mission. And you know, from this distance, you can kind of still see the uh, Warthog run at the right angle but you can see like it's still really far away and it's gonna be really hard and I don't think there's any position you can stand at to see it but you can see like when my friend is sta uh, hovering and it's uh, really far away <laughs> but there you guys have it that is where the uh, warthog run is actually located in relation to the uh, playable part of the map so hopefully you guys did find this video to be interesting and if you did enjoy it then as always make sure to leave a like I'll leave your thoughts in the comments, anything else you want me to check out or look into, any other questions you might have, or things for me to tackle, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll definitely do my best to look into it when I get the chance. But other than that, if you haven't already, do make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.